Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's me. Uh, we got up in the morning. It was dark and it was raining hard. And we knew that Ryan's bus driver wasn't going to be able to get in here because the, oh. the, okay. the water usually comes up around the end and, and it usually gets in the, the road right there so we don't send him to school. Yeah. And then uh, I walked outside as the sun started coming up and noticed the water was up a whole lot higher than what it normally is. And I stuck a stick in the ground just to see how fast it was moving and it, it covered a six inch stick in about 15 minutes which told me that the water's coming fast. Margie called the school and said uh, we're not sending Ryan and then she said we're, she was going to go take a nap and I said no you're not. You need to get his medicines together. We have to get out of here. She thought no it ain't that bad. Well by the time I called 911 and about 45 minutes later they came and got us out in a boat. <laughs> and as they took us on the boat they took us that way to the road and uh, I had Railroad ties all the way around here for a driveway. Well, we raced the railroad ties, and the railroad ties won. They beat the boat, <laughs> so it was, it was moving very fast. And uh, the water was up to almost to the top of them steps by the time we got out of here. The floodwaters rose and are marked on the telephone pole by two pins. The 2008 and 2009 floods. The one, the high, the high pin is up approximately seven feet above grade. So it was pretty bad.